Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, we have seen how to send a message to SKS from a Lambda using Voto3 library and how to receive the same message inside a Lambda and we are printing the event. So in this video, we will learn what is the batch size. So if you observe, so the setup is there is a SKS and there is a Lambda where we are sending message to the SKS by providing URL and what is the message body. And there is a lambda where it will receive the message from this queue. So in this video we will learn what is batch size. So presently batch size is 1. It means in one request only one message will be received. So that whenever this lambda receives a message it will print the event and in this so every time the message format will be like this only records and that is an array and inside that we will have a message body or message json which will have all the details message id and actual message will be this body so what if the sender that means this lambda sent so many messages at the same time and how the receiver receives it so because we can batch size is one it will receive only one message at a time in a request and if you change this batch size, one request can have these many number of size. So we will just change this and try. So presently to do that, we will just change this code, the receiver part, we will print the count. So it will be re event records and this is an array. So we will just print the length of records so that we will know what is the number of requests received so inside this we will have records then we can just pin length of event records so we will just deploy this And presently, we will just send one message. Test demo. We will just keep on. So this message will send once, then again we will send, then again we will send. We have sent message so many times. Let's see the receiver side. So it has gone to this SPS all the messages and it is received by this lambda and we are printing this event and length. Let's see the cloud watch. So let's go to this and let's check last one minute. So if you see the length one, length one, length one, length one. So the event will be array of records and in this we will have each one because we have kept this batch window as one it is received as one so let's change this now and keep 10 so now we are seeing receiver can receive up to 10 messages in the same request only. So it is not fixed number. It can be 0, it can be 1 to 10. Just because we kept 10, it won't wait for the 10 messages. How many ever messages it receives, it will just send. So we just updating, we will just so now it is enabled now let's go to again here again we will send
Presently we will send by testing this manually and see whether it receives more than one message in the receiver side. Later we will just co change the code, code itself will be sent in the loop some 50 messages. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have sent 10 messages and let's see whether any of it has more than one. All are having length one only. So it is having one only because the speed which we sent is very slower than the receiver. So receive as soon as it receives it will send to the one. To demonstrate we will just change the batch window. The maximum amount of time to gather records before invoking the function in seconds. Let's keep here some 4 seconds. So it will wait for 4 seconds and it will say, it will gather the messages till 4 seconds and within 4 seconds how many ever messages it receives it will send. Suppose in 4 seconds it receives 5 messages then it will send 5 messages to the message in one request. If it gathers 9 messages it will send 9. If it gathers 11 messages it will send only 10 because the maximum we have kept as 10 and the next message will be sent in the next request. <coughs> so now let's wait for this update. Before we didn't keep any uh, seconds because that's why it's immediately getting received by the lambda. Now it is enabled. Now we will send again the messages to the queue. So we have sent so many. Let's again check. So if you just check here. The length is 3. So now whenever we increase the batch size to 10, till 10 messages it can be received. If you check the event of this, it will have 3 messages. So this is one message. I think it stops somewhere. I think this is this one is a body and this is body and it will have this body so three times so there are three messages and it is printing length three and to still demonstrate we'll just increase the time to 10 seconds or what we'll see we'll just change the code itself instead of clicking For 2, we will just send many messages. Count, then we will increase. Count plus 1. count equal to equal to 50 then break so now we are sending a 50 messages at a stretch and later we are breaking let's deploy this and let's send so this is syntax 
there is a syntax error what is this error cannot assign to truth line number 9 Let's change to Y. So we are sending fifty messages. So it took thirteen seconds to send a fifty messages, and let's see here. So if you just see length is 9 so in one request 9 messages are sent and here 3 here 5 here 4 here 4 if you just see Indian cross the 10 which we have given it always less than the 10 if you have, if you increase the window size it can have more messages in a single request Let's put a 20 and here 10 seconds. And again, send here. Let's say send 80 messages. Last time it took 13 seconds and for 80 messages it can take so it took 20 seconds let's check the logs again what is the batch size so if you just see the length is 18 so one request only contains 18 messages so accordingly the receiver needs to parse and process all the messages so one has 18 and one has 8 only and one has 5 and has 12 it means it is not fixed that whatever size we have given those many it will receive it is till 20 1 to 20 messages can be received in the request so if you are not handling many messages in the receiver side just keep only one always and process that request I hope you understood what is a batch size while adding SPS trigger to a lambda. So for more videos subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.